you require to position your figure captions below the figure and your table captions above, for example, like in the APA formatting style, you can do that by using two separate caption styles. We'll modify the existing caption style to be for figure captions and we'll create a brand new style for table captions. So let's first go and modify the caption style. You can find the caption style either in the styles gallery or if you can't find it there, have a look in the styles pane. Simply right click on it and choose to modify. You will need to change the font color to black, remove the italics. The font must be the same as the rest of the document. So in my case, that is Arial. Font size could be the same as your text or a little bit smaller. My text is size 11, so I can have my captions the same size or I can, or I can have them a little bit smaller. I'm going to choose 10. And if they are smaller, if you want, you can choose them to be bold. It's entirely personal preference. The default alignment for your caption is exactly the same as your text. So in my case, that is fully justified. If you prefer, you can have your caption centered, especially if your headings are also centered, because that will make it more consistent. However, in my case, my headings are aligned to the left. So I'm going to keep the default text aligning for my captions. The line spacing needs to be more compact than the rest of the text. It needs to look like nice, neat layers and the default option is to have single line spacing, which is suitable for me because my document is one and a half line space, so this is more compact. If your document is double spaced, probably best to choose to have your captions one and a half line space, so it is more compact, but it's not drastically different. After you've finished the setup, the basic settings, go to the format button and paragraph options. We're not going to touch the alignment because we already set it up and the indentation as well. But we'll need to modify the spacing. At the moment, we are preparing this style to be used for captions of figures, which will be positioned under the figure, which means the space before the caption, which is the space between the figure and the caption, needs to be small. So I'm just going to use six. And the space after needs to be bigger. Because my caption is single spaced, I'll need to increase that a little bit more. So I'm going to use 18 points after the caption to clearly separate it from the following paragraph. After this, we can go to line and page breaks. And we cannot use keep with next because it could be a figure and a caption at the bottom of the page. There's no need to keep it with the next paragraph. So we cannot use this. Unfortunately, because the caption is under the figure, we cannot use keep with next. We need keep with previous, but there is no such option. So there's no automatic option to control the figure and the caption to stay together. So when you're ready with your document, before it's finalized, have a look through all your figures and make sure they're not separated from the caption. We could use keep lines together just in case your caption ends up a bit long and that will make sure that the caption does not split up between different pages. And then we can confirm all the changes in the paragraph options. It may be a good idea to rename this style so it's easier to remember that this is for captions of figures. And then when you're ready, click OK to confirm the changes in the caption style. Then we'll need to create a brand new style for the table captions. To create a brand new style, you'll need to open the styles pane on the right hand side. And then at the bottom, you will see three icons. The first one is to create a new style. Click on it and it will open the create new style from formatting dialog box. And then you can give it a name. This is going to be called table captions. The style type is a paragraph because we're formatting text. The style should be based on the caption style. So it picks up most of the formatting existing within the caption style. So all we need to do is modify it. The style for the following paragraph option is selecting the default formatting for the paragraph after a caption like this. We'll choose normal. As you can see, the formatting is already picked up from the caption style. So all we need to do is then we can click on the format button, go to the paragraph options and change the spacing. Because in this case, the table captions are going to be above the table, we'll need to make sure they're clearly separated from any previous paragraphs. So I'm going to use 12 points before a caption. The space after we'll need to reduce because we want this caption to stay close to the table. So I'm going to reduce it down to six points. And then for the line and page breaks, now we can use the option keep with next because this caption is above the table and we want to keep the caption and the table together. When we tick this, the caption and the table will stay together. The next option keep lines together is useful and will always keep it for all different captions because that will ensure the captions never split between different pages. And then we can click OK to confirm all the changes and the paragraph options. And then we click OK to finish creating the new style. And now it will be listed 
in the list of styles and it will appear usually at the beginning of the styles gallery. All that we need to do now is go and create those captions. This is a figure, so we need to create the space underneath the figure itself for the caption. So we go and create an empty line. From the references tab, click on insert caption and then you choose is it a figure, a table or equation you want to create a caption for. In our case, that's a figure. If you want, you have the option also to go to the numbering and include the number of the heading at the highest level above this particular figure or table. If you tick this option, include chapter number, and then you can also choose the symbol to separate the number of the heading and the number of the figure. That could be a dot, a hyphen or a colon. This option is useful when you want to emphasize the context of that particular figure or table by including the high level heading number. However, if you have figures or tables in appendices, because the appendices will not have a number, this will cause issues. A simpler option is to use simple consecutive numbers. Click OK to insert the caption. And then after the number, you can leave a simple space or a colon or a dash. It is entirely up to you and your personal preferences but you have to make sure it's consistent throughout the document. All figure table captions must have exactly the same look. I'm going to use a simple space. And as you can see, this figure caption automatically is formatted with the caption style, which in my case is the right one because that is formatted specifically for figure captions. Then find your next figure and insert your caption here. And for your tables, the captions are going to be above the table. So you need to create the space above the table itself. Then go to insert caption, change the label to be a table that you're captioning. Click OK and then write your description. However, here you can see that the default option to use the caption style is not suitable because the caption style is now for figure captions. Your table captions are formatted differently. So you have to apply the table caption style and as you can see, it's uh, immediately changed. Then for your next table, you have to do the same. Insert caption. And then format it with a table caption style. And that's your captions done. Using automatic captioning has two big advantages. First one, that the computer will make sure that all your numbers are correct. And if you insert another figure or table somewhere in the middle of your existing ones, it will renumber them all. Or if you delete one, it will renumber them to make sure the numbers are correct. The second big advantage is that it also allows you to create an automatic list of all your figures and tables after your contents page.